Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this Airbus problem, they want us to figure out what the acceleration during takeoff is in meters per second and in Gs. And then they want us to figure out when do the wheels leave the ground. And they need us to figure out what the minimum runway distance is for this. So let's start off with part A and figure out what the acceleration is. Acceleration, you remember, is always the change in the velocity or the change in time. So let's figure out the acceleration for each of these sections. You'll remember that the change in anything is always final minus initial. So for 0 to 10 seconds, the final is going to be 10 and 23. So we have the final velocity is 23 meters, 3 meters per second, and then 10 seconds minus 0 and 0. So that will give us 23 divided by 10, which is going to be 2.3 meters per second squared. So that's for this section right here. Now let's figure out the acceleration for this section. So same thing, we have the final velocity is 46 meters per second minus 23 meters per second. And then that will be divided by 20 seconds minus 10 seconds. So 46 minus 23 is 23 divided by 20 minus 10 is 10. So you can see it's going to be the exact same 2.3 meters per second squared for this other section. Last one, we have 69 minus 46. So the final 69 meters per second minus 46 meters per second. And then 30 minus 20 is also 10 again. And 69 minus 46 is, what do you know, 23 meters per second divided by 10. So the acceleration for all of these is the exact same at 2.3 meters per second squared. So for part A, the acceleration in meters per second is 2.3 squared. And then now we need to figure out what that acceleration is in Gs. 0.3 meters per second squared divided by g's is 9.8 meters per second squared. So 2.3 divided by 9.8 is going to give us in g's 2.3 or 0 0.23, so 0 0.23 g's. And that makes sense because 9.8 is essentially 10. And so we're basically just moving the decimal place over because we rounded to get rid of the other decimal places on our answer. So part A is done. Let's scroll down and do part B. And they want to figure out when do the wheels leave the ground. So we need to figure out at what point does the plane or the Airbus reach 80 meters per second because that is the takeoff speed. So 80 meters per second is the goal, and we're going to be using kinematic equations to solve for this. So the equation that we'll be using for this is V final is equal to V initial plus acceleration times T final minus T initial. This is one of the, equa the kinematic equations that they gave in the book. But if you think about it, if we minus the initial velocity over, now we have V final minus V initial, which is the same thing as delta V will give us acceleration times t final minus t initial, which is the same as delta t. So we just created the acceleration formula, which is isolated for v. If we divide by t over, we have acceleration is equal to delta v over delta t. So this equation that we're using, the kinematic equation, it's just an expansion of the acceleration formula. It's just set this way because it's easier because you don't have to think about the final minus initial. It's already all broken up for you. We want to solve this for t final. All right, so we got rid of all of that and now let's isolate it for t final. First off, we can get rid of t initial because we're going to start it at zero seconds. So that's gone. Same thing with the initial velocity. That's also zero. So we have v final is equal to the acceleration times t final. And so we just need to divide both sides by acceleration. And now we have t final is equal to the velocity final divided by the acceleration. We already have the acceleration from the part A, and we know the final velocity that we want is 80 meters per second. So when we have the time that will make the wheels actually lift off the ground or the takeoff speed, we have 80 meters per second 
divided by 2.3 meters per second squared. Going over the units, as always, is meters per second divided by meters per second squared, but we're dividing by a fraction, so we can multiply by the reciprocal, so meters per second times seconds squared over meters. Now the meters will cancel and the seconds will cancel, which will leave us with seconds over one. So we know that that is correct for what we need here for time. All right, so let's come to our calculator and we have 80 divided by the acceleration, which was 2.3. So the total time that it will take to achieve the takeoff speed is 34.8 seconds. So 34.8 seconds to achieve the takeoff speed of 80 meters per second. And now the last part of the question asks us that for safety reasons, what is the minimum length of the runway that this aircraft can use? Because they say it has to be three times the takeoff distance. So for this, we'll also be using kinematic equations again. The one that we'll use for this one is x final is equal to x initial plus the initial velocity times time, plus one half the acceleration times the time squared. The initial velocity is zero, as we already discussed, as is the initial position. So now we have a little bit simplified x final is equal to one half the acceleration times the time squared. We have all the values for this from the other parts of the problem. So the x final, and this is the distance that will be the takeoff distance, not the total runway distance that we'll need. So we have one half the acceleration, which we said is 2.3 meters per second squared. And then the time we just found was 34.8 seconds, but we'll square that. So we have 0.5 times, times 2.3 times 34.8 squared gives us 1390. So we'll round that down to 1390 meters is the takeoff distance, but we need to multiply that by three to give us the total runway length. So 1390 times three, and if you're nervous that you're gonna get a rounding error for mastering uh, physics, you can also just take this and multiply it by three, um, but this is what the, the book did, so I'm gonna go with this. So we have 4170, so we have 4170 meters is the total length for the runway that we need for safety reasons for the Airbus.